Hello people, um, this is a different kind of video. I decided I would just, um, record Inktober and then voice it over for some weird reason. I thought I would be able to do that. Anyway, so this is the first piece. I think the, uh, day one theme was candle. So I did a candle lady. I just want to take a while to figure out because like I was, I wanted to do, like her hair was the, was melting because I'd seen that somewhere. I don't remember where, but it was inspiring, so I wanted to do that, but then, um, I did some sketches on paper and decided not to, so there's that. Uh, I added a lot of flowers on this one for some reason, because I, yeah, I just add flowers on everything, apparently. There's a lot of flowers in this video. There's also 28 minutes of footage, oh. I might have to go get some coffee if this version doesn't work out. I don't know. I've been fiddling with recording and stuff. There might be a blooper reel at the end of all my stupid moments. And forgetting to breathe. Whew. Okay, anyway, just now I'm doing like the refined rough sketch, which is usually what takes me the longest. I think, let me check. This footage was originally... It doesn't say, but I think it was like an hour and a half because I was taking my time. Um, then I imposed like a... 30 minute to 40 minute rule on thrusts so it doesn't take too long and the videos aren't hours long. I think altogether I had 7 hours and 25 minutes of footage. Yeah. Anyway, I've just started the line art here. So that was fun. As you can see, I don't do side profile lips very well. I need to practice that. And who needs arms, am I right? She doesn't got no arms. She just got like a four... A, it's not a forearm. Forearm's the lower part of your arm. Upper arm? It's like the thigh of your arm. <laughs> uh, anyway, so... Yeah, I really like this one. I like all the flowers. I I, ju I just like flowers. And during this, I think I was watching... Um, uh, something on Disney Plus. It was like a series on how they made Frozen 2. Which was really interesting, actually. I would recommend that. 10 out of 10. Would recommend definitely would watch again i learned a lot it, it it's a lot of effort to make a disney movie and it was really cool um yeah i'm just i was just filling in all the gaps in the line art because sometimes it just are oh eyelashes oh such a pain right now i've just selected the outside and then made the inside a solid color i was originally just going to go with black and white for inktober in general but then i broke my rule on the first day because yay, that's what you do, right? Um, and then, you know, I'm just adding the lighting, like the highlights and stuff. It was really hard for the on the first day to work with just such a limited color palette, but I think I got better at it, L like later on. And now I think I'm just, yeah, working on the shading and all that fun stuff. I don't really like this one. I liked it when I first made it, but now I'm just kind of like, it doesn't look that good. I think I could, I think I could do better now if I redrew it. And it's only, what, the 9th of October now? This video was supposed to be up yesterday, but I didn't record the voiceover. <laughs> I, oh, sniff, sorry. Um, yeah, I think that's a, I'm about done just doing the background now. And then that's it. It's done. That's all I did. Yeah, I thought about writing it in the corner. Anyway, next one. Day two. Fancy. I wanted to kind of see how far I could push it through. So uh, this is not the piece I finished with. This is. I just wanted to see how many top hats I could add. And then I realized I can't drop guys. So yeah, that was a bit of a problem. Guys, are just, the drawing boys are not my, is not my strong suit. So... I tried. I failed. I really did. I really, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Yeah, as you can see I'm doing the line art on this failed piece. I like the idea of having two bow ties on because bow ties are cool, to quote Doctor Who. Uh, and then I wanted long hair because I can't draw short hair either, so. Yeah. This was fun. I think I maybe got to this part and then I was like, nah, bye. Get out of here. So now I'm going back to my, my roots of elf girls 
Lord have mercy on my soul. Yeah, she wasn't as fancy as I wanted her to be. She was more royal than fancy, but you know, I'm happy with the piece either way. I think I could still do better though. A lot of these are, I could have done better. Yeah, right now I'm drawing the lips and hair. Lots of hair, so much hair. And now we're doing the line art. I think I was watching, I always watch stuff when I do drawing and it's, it's fun, but like, who? And then I always get distracted and I had to try not to get distracted. But I did, as you can tell. Um, what else? Yeah, I decided, I think this time I wanted to try like a solid color for the hair. So later on I will just like color it completely black and then go from there. And it was really fun. I've actually been doing that on my most recent ones. Yeah. Yeah, and then I think day two, this is day two, right? Yeah, it's day two. Uh, I actually stuck with the black and white and then I cheated a little bit with the opacity of a brush. It still counts if it's black and white, right? I mean, black and, yes, black and white. Yeah, as you can see, I struggled with coloring in the hair quite a bit because it wasn't working right, but I got there, we got there, we got there. I actually really like this way of drawing like black or white hair, because you know, it just looks so much nicer. <sighs> And then we're just about done now. I did the highlights in the hair and in the little gem on her jewelry things. I I don't know how to do these kind of voiceovers. I'm trying. My cheaty moment. I cheated. I wanted to see if I could give her a darker skin tone, but I couldn't without it looking a, a little weird with the like the opacity of the brush. Yeah, but I suppose we can just imagine that that's what she's like. Oh, this is um day uh three i can't count today apparently this is actually a failed attempt but i went with a a similar effect i wanted to draw elsa from frozen 2 because i love that movie it's such a good movie and uh, i got only so far before i went for a walk and then came back and went i hate this and then didn't draw didn't draw it i just didn't draw it because that's what you do right I, I kind of, I think I did good on the pose. Like, it's okay. But I think I could do better. Hmm. Do, do, do. Zelda music is stuck in my brain. Anyway, this is why I don't do side profile lips ever. I think I do later on in the video. And I don't know how I got it to look so nice, but I did. Yeah, now we're just doing the outlines for the hair and then you know, I stopped, so this piece is just not done. So, that's nice. Am I right? Anyway, I went with a similar theme for the next one, which I actually did on Monday. I did three on Monday and then my head hurt. But then I still finished the raffle piece, which was impressive in my book. So I actually did for this one the wind gem. I, tried, I wanted to do all four, but I couldn't get them to look right. So I did the wind sparkle from Frozen 2. I just, I really like that movie, okay? Don't judge me. So, that was nice. Um, oh, they're so out of line, it's really annoying me. I don't really have much to say, so... Um, do you guys play Animal Crossing? I play Animal Crossing. New Horizons is great. I just got back into it recently and I've been doing a lot of work on my town. Boy, does laying paths suck. Like really, it sucks. It just takes so long. And then if you do it wrong and you're like, ew, I hate this. Or you try something new and you're like, ooh, I love this. And then you have to replace your entire town's paving and it's just, uh, why, why? Anyway, this is uh, the singular one. I decided to just draw it by hand and it's not straight. I tried to straighten it out so much and I don't really like this one. I feel like I could have done so much better, but then I just didn't. <laughs> so that's unfortunate, but 
what can you do? This is this whole Drawtober or Inktober. I don't I don't know actually. I feel like I'm doing Inktober in a sense, but I don't want to say I'm actually doing Inktober because I know there's been a lot of problems with the person who made it up. Because they, I don't actually know what they did, but I know that it wasn't a good thing. So, yeah, I'm just doing the wind. Look at the wind and the leaves. I really like the leaves. It was so pretty. The only, the only thing I like about these are the leaves. Leaves? Leaves? Trees? They're not trees, they're leaves. Leaves. Can't speak today either. What a shock. Uh, yeah, I just did a few more because in the movie, Gale has leaves, so, you know. Why not? I don't know why I did that weird line thing. I think I was just trying to like um, add some texture without adding color. Because I kind of rely on adding color quite a bit in my pieces. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Do -do. Oh, I have Zelda music playing right now. So I'm not sitting in the quiet. You know. Is that a car? I don't know. I'm gonna move my blanket. Ooh, adventures with me. I moved the blanket. It's gone. Oh, I can breathe. Imagine that. Anyway, I'm gonna put that up there. Because it could very well be my parents. One second. Oh, I have to undo my microphone thing. Get out of here. Oh, this is the Animal Crossing one. Ow. I hit something with my face. No, it's just the post guy. Okay. Panic over. <laughs> Everyone went out today, so I decided that I would just do this. <laughs> I was worried they were home early. Ouch. My head. I've smacked my face on something. Oh, the pain, the pain. Anyway, I did a... This prompt was... Um, my first tool, Animal Crossing New Horizons. And I don't remember what my first tool was, but the first thing that came to my brain was... Net. Give net. So I can catch it a bugs. Catch it a bugs! I think it probably got a lot more echoey. Um, because I took the blanket off that I was using, but okay. Now I'm cold. <laughs> Poor unfortunate soul. Yeah, I have Disney songs stuck in my head. I don't, like, this one I don't really like too much because it, it feels a little plain and a little predictable. I think I could have done better, but I didn't. So I apologize for that. Oh, I think I might sneeze. I can feel it in my, in my nose, I can feel the sneeze. Isn't it the worst thing when you're just, I'm gonna sneeze, and then the sneeze goes away, and you feel deprived of a sneeze. And it's like, why? Why? Why do you do this life? Why? So, that's how I feel. I don't know how you guys feel about sneezes. I don't, I think, I think it depends on the sneeze. There are different types of sneeze. I would get into it, but I feel like that's kind of gross. <laughs> Uh, here, I'm just trying to draw a log. No reason, just drawing a log. And it was a total coincidence that I put it there because I was going to put it, a f copy and paste it a few times around the side. So it's like, ooh, two logs on the table or something. But then I left it there because it looked cool. So I think that's that one done. And moving on to the next one, which was another Animal Crossing one. A gyroid? Can you not drive down the street while I'm doing this? Uh, yeah, so that's that one then. I thought it was okay. Attempts at drawing stars. <laughs> yeah, so I just took a picture of my Animal Crossing character for this one and uh, started going. Yeah, I kind of 
I think it would be cool to have a like a player gyroid. Just like a custom one that you can have that matches your player's general look. So that would be really cool. I want it in Animal Crossing, I really do. Just imagine collecting them from other people's towns. Like, here's my gyroid. Give me give me yours. You can have other players all lined up. I think that would be real cute. No. This one was quick, and I actually like this one. I thought it was really nice. <laughs> and kind of kind of fun. Oh, the struggle of drawing horns on literally anything. Ow. Why do I always smack my hand or my elbow on something? Um. Oh. The microphone's shaking because I shook the table. Stop. Thank you. You just... I think it's loose. This is, this is a disaster. First voiceover and it's a complete disaster. That's okay though. Maybe I'll just use it for comedic purposes. <laughs> you guys can always turn off the music anyway. I mean, me. You can turn... You can turn my... My voiceover off if you want, I guess. Um... Yeah, now I'm just adding like the section parts and then the glasses, of course. Circular glasses are just an obsession on characters in general for me. I don't know why. They just look so good on everything. Got a problem? Circle glasses. <laughs> just circle glasses, that's all I got. Um, now I'm just drawing them out struggles of drawing a mouth because they're usually like pits of death on the gyroids in the game so that was difficult and then my photoshop decided that it was gonna bum out and then I fixed it so don't worry uh yeah I think that's this one almost done oh yeah I just gotta add the little dot things it looked a little weird, and then I tried to turn the opacity down, and I realized I did them on the wrong layer, so. That's nice. I think it's like... Oh, this, this is the next one. I think it was crafty. Hang on, let me check my book. I have a book. Um, yeah, day six, crafty. Uh, and then I decided, oh, I saw somewhere, I think it was, I don't know what it was, I think it was like a mobile game thing. And uh, she had a paintbrush broomstick and I was just, yes, give me that, I want that. Her proportions are a little off for this, but I think it looks okay. I don't know. I don't really use pose references except for the one, the last one in this video. I used a pose reference, which I'm glad to search, track down, and credit. Actually, I will because that's what you're supposed. To. Yeah, I will do that actually. Yeah, I'm gonna do that in case someone decides to roast me over a fire. Um, here I'm just trying to decide her outfit. In the end, I decided to give her like overalls but they're shorts with a weird top thing i don't actually know what the heck's going on with that and she's got a witch's hat i still i don't know how to draw witch's hats sue me and then i just gave her big old ponytails just big old ponytails i really didn't know what to do for her so i was like big old ponytail why not ponytails there's two um yeah And now we're doing the line art, which is actually lots of fun. I really enjoyed this one. This is one of my favorite ones so far. Uh, the last three in this video, which is this is one of them. They're like my favorite ones of the bunch. So that, yeah, I enjoyed it. I'm still gonna have to drink lots of water after this. My throat's starting to hurt. <laughs> Death. I'm not used to speaking this much. 
Uh, yeah. This one took a while, actually. Oh, the hat struggle. <laughs> you can just see it. And then the hair struggle. I, I know those little things have a name, but I don't know what they are. Yeah, I, I really, I'm not really happy with the hat. I think I can, I need to practice them a little bit more, but yeah. And then I started doing the second ponytail. I tend to do this, like a big change on another layer, so I can always change it back if I need to. Boy. Boy with the legs a trip and a half. I think I, I did another style where they were just kind of straight down legs with a little dent for the knee 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 what do you call the thing it's like an armpit but it's like a knee pit but i don't know if that's the right knee for it oh hands what else is there to say hands it's just i think this one turned out okay could have been better, could have been worse. Oh, the mouth. I I hate the mouth. Kind of works, but it, then it kind of doesn't. So, then I actually really like the nose on this one. It's okay. It works really well. I'm just adding some glasses. Some glasses. Glasses. Round glasses once again. They strike again. Oh, oh. Sorry, hit my headset against my microphone. Because they're two separate things. Oh, now I'm just coloring the hair. It's going to be black. Blick. With a few little thingamajigs, you know, little wispies everywhere. And this one's about done, actually. There's two versions of this because I colored the line art just to be fun. So. I have no idea why I made the paint brush and hat white. I know it kind of looks like a cow hat, but uh, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Nothing. Can't do. Oh, okay. We're on the next one. This was bathtub. The seam, and I wanted to do like a um, a clawfoot bathtub, but I don't think that worked out. I don't even know what they look like. Well, I do. I just I don't, I don't remember. I wanted to go for some big ears, and then I didn't. And a fish. Give her. I wanted, to have a, I wanted to have her arm hanging over the edge of the bath, but I couldn't figure out how to do that, so I just kind of didn't. And now I'm drawing her hair. That was a trip. And a mermaid tail, because she's a mermaid. Look at her tail go. I really like this piece once it's done, actually. It, it took a while. A few little bubbles here and there. Oh, I really like this one. Oh, and the lips. I actually did sideways face and lips and they look decent. <laughs> I'm so I really, I'm so proud of that. Look at her go. Eyelashes. Yeah, I wanted to give her like some scales on the side of her face. Cause yeah, that just seemed like fun to me, so I did. And uh, yeah, then I started doing her hair, and that was really difficult. You know, and I just like this piece altogether, to be honest. It's one of my favorite ones so far. I still have to do today's, which is jar. It's gonna be rather jarring. <laughs> Sorry. I probably used that word wrong actually. Let me look it up. Here's a joke for you guys. When is a door not a door? When it's a jar. <laughs> yeah, I used it right actually. Jar jarring sight sound or experience so different or unexpected that it has a strong and unpleasant effect on something or someone 
Yeah, that works. I used it right. I'm very proud of myself. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. As you can see, I'm a big fan of the black hair this month. So that's what I did. I think the bubbles look a little funny. I did change them after I finished recording because I wasn't happy with them. So if you want to look at that before the end of the video, you can <coughs> check my Twitter. Link in the description. Cough, cough. Cough. Yeah, next one is thorns. I used a reference for this pose. So that's why if you've seen it before, you probably have. I referenced it. So because I couldn't do ballerina poses. I couldn't think of any. So. Uh, I really like this one actually. I, I'm proud of it. I think I did good. Um, has lots of plants. That's probably why I like it so much. The hair is kind of inspired out of my Guild Wars 2 character. She's like, I think the name is Sylvanian. Sil Sylvanian. Sylvanian. Plant race in Guild Wars 2. Let's look it up. Um, plant race in Guild Wars 2. Woo! Ah, uh, so yeah. I put all those leaves on the hand because I didn't want to draw the hands. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, they're called the Silvari. I'll put a picture of one up on the screen now so you can look at your I don't know whenever you want oh I'm really proud of these feet though because feet are so difficult to draw yeah and then there's just like a bajillion thorns it's great had to make it thorns and spiky because that's what the theme was thorns so Boy, do I like this one. I'm just complimenting my own art. I feel, I feel so bad about it. I, I do want to see if anyone else is doing Drawtober or Inktober. I, I, I want to see. So go tag me on Twitter and show me. Show me. I want to see them all. So. Please. Uh, just adding the rest of the thorns here, and you know, I think it looks great. Just, I think it looks okay. I think I could have done something better with the legs. She looks like she's gonna fall over a little bit, but that's, yeah. So, but she looks okay. I like how the uh, the thorn kind of looks like it's coming like up like a shadow so it's a bit like a shadow hi so um this is me the next day after i finished recording that and i just wanted to say the lady who did the thumbnails is nikki she's great she does awesome art stuff you should go follow her twitter i'll put that in the description and the pinned comment and uh yeah that's it okay bye i hope you enjoyed the video thank you bye